Now, as a reporter, do remember that if you want to become a successful and a very famous or a reporter whose articles are read more than those of others, then it is important that you deal mostly with stories or with articles that relate with that are unusual in one way or another. For example, now very few people in Pakistan write about Razmak. Now Razmak is a place, it's about 87 miles from the capital of North Waziristan, rather 87 kilometers from Miransha and about 65 kilometers from Wana, the capital of uh, South Waziristan. Zulfikar Ali Bhutto had the foresight to build a cadet college in Razbak. Now the importance or something which in, will be of great interest to people in Pakistan that it always rains in the afternoon every day in Razmak. Now uh, imagine in a place like Pakistan, I mean especially someone from Sin, where it doesn't rain at all. So think of a place where it rains every afternoon. It also snows, uh, I think, from December to February. So this Razmak was very popular with the British colonials. And uh, of course, there was another reason why they stayed there, because of uh, the, uh, let us say, there was a character, personality, by the name of the Fakir of AP. So from 1930 till 1946, till Pakistan came into being, the British were never able to, they, the British declared him as a terrorist, but were never able to capture him. And so that uh, in the British press, he was described as the scarlet Pimpernel of the East. The Scarlet Pimpernel was, was a British uh, uh, spy whom the French tried to capture during the French Revolution and were unsuccessful. So, this Fakir of Ipi, whose actual name was Mazar Ali Khan, uh, was considered as the Scarlet Pimpernel of the East. It will be, I think, um, if you write something about him today, I'm sure it will be, I mean, entire uh, people in the world everywhere will find it interesting. So this is one. Then another uh, thing that you should be, uh, whatever you write about, assure that it is timely. It, is, it has timeliness. It is something that is of, for example, if you write right now, something interesting, a story about COVID-19 is bound, bound to be read by everyone because it has this, what is known as timeliness in it. Then try to write about stories which are something to, which have something to do with celebrities. You know that celebrities for some reason or another are very popular with readers and that's why you'll find that every Sunday you'll have pages devoted. In, um, in dawn you'll have complete two or three pages devoted to celebrities. Then of course, last but not least is always that it must, your story must be of human interest. So unless of human interest, uh, it will not be appreciated.